Hello my fellow corn dogs. I'm Mr. Church, and last build video we built a barn using the barn set that Bethesda gave us, and my eyes have not been the same ever since. <laughs> What's that? Hello? Guys? What? Hello? And... Oh! Hello! Uh, yes. Anyway, today we're gonna try to build a barn, but let's not use the barn set. How about... We're going to build uh, south of Vault 76 in between Gilman Lumber and Wicks and Homestead. Here in this field, there's this beautiful little tractor I thought we could incorporate into the build. Uh, unfortunately, Scorch will decimate your structure every four seconds, so that's something to look forward to. And uh, let's build as close to that tractor as we can so that we can really build around it. Now I'm gonna make this foundation be up as close to the widest part of this tractor as possible. We can snap through it, uh, but we're not going to because that would look exquisitely stupid. Uh, today is our chance to um, r basically salvage our reputation as a base builder uh, by f making a barn that looks like uh, a barn instead of like a bright red uh, church of uh, bad, not good in any way. So first I thought what we would do is make it look like a barn, like shaped like a barn, which of course we didn't do last time we built a barn because we were afraid of making that much red in one spot. It's just, it's horrific. Uh, but uh, this time, will be better because we're not using the barn texture we're gonna be we're gonna make our own barn texture essentially using some double walls and trickery so let's start off with a big old three by four and uh, the front wall will make two walls high and let's just focus on the front for now because that's really the only place that's going to be a toothache and I said toothache because I'm biting down on my desk as a stress relief. I know you guys do that, so don't even pretend that that sounded weird. Because everyone does that. I don't know a single person who doesn't. Now, we're gonna off... well, first let's uh... no, that's not what I was gonna say. We will not be offing anyone or anything. First, let's double wall the front. Now, I'm gonna do... that, this. Now, if you don't know, you can double wall as long as you put foundations back to back uh, and you have doorways of almost any wall type. There are a couple that don't work, but most of the doorways will work. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to offset a front foundation to be exactly half a floor over. So we're going to use a stair, put it over here. We're going to put this half upper floor here which will allow us to snap a foundation exactly half a foundation over to the side so that we can center the front two foundations which will be our place to place our fake doors. Now the reason I didn't do that last half half wall yet is um, if you put it, the half wall uh, what, what the hell am I talking about? Half wall? Double wall? H holy crap! Uh, like this first and then you build the stairs up and then you build the upper floor and then you try to get rid of the upper floor it won't let you because the hat the oh my god the double wall up there will not let you delete the floor now get rid of the bottom we can do this because they're doorways and doorways love floating and now uh, let's put a double half wall and double uh, angled walls up here so we're gonna build us a little found uh, foundation. Maybe I should learn basic English and then do the intro and commentaries. Uh, let's see. Uh, basic flooring. Stack some stash boxes up, um, and then take a flamer trap, which you can only obtain from doing Abby's Bunker missions, <laughs> by the way, and uh, then just burn the royal hell out of these walls. Now, because my memory is about as bad as a block of wood, now I don't really understand that metaphor, but I'm assuming wood, 
of any block doesn't have good memory. I always forget that the, there's only a certain type of angle that works and it's not the ones I used. So fix those, change them into the brick, and then burn it all over again because lord knows we love spending as much time as possible redoing the exact same thing. Um, but then burn those bur uh, brick... Bl um, I, I can speak just fine. Burn the brick ones. Then you can double wall those, get rid of our thingy, run over to the thingy thing, and repair everything. Now, we're going to make some fake walls. You're going to stack two shelves, blueprint it, stack that, blueprint it, and you'll have this, four uh, shelves high, and it fits perfectly in here. And that will be our little half wall for now our vertical half wall, if you will. And it's a, it could be a lot straighter and neater than that, but it works for this build because it's a little janky and uh, we don't want it too clean because this whole structure is going to be very uncomfortable. There's a little gap over there. So what we're gonna do is make the wall be our thinnest version possible. So like the warehouse will do, and then just move it all the way over here so that it's touching there, there's no gaps there. There we go, and now uh, we can just, move. it'll be fine. Everything's fine, uh, do the same on this side, um, and then we can just put this down right over here. Now Bethesda has indicated that they're adding vertical half walls at one point, but that'll probably be in about 30 years. Uh, so for now we're going to use these shelving units, um, and now take the foundations that we have here and we're just going to uh, put them at a at an a diagonal angle on the same plane so you can tell by that white line there and we're just gonna pull it in so that the the corner is touching right here where the shelf is now this will be what we're gonna build our door our air quote door, barn doors with. Um, this will be great, uh, of course. And let's put it down a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, uh, just slightly lower. And uh, now you can take any of your doorways, as long as it is a doorway, it can float. And you can snap it like this for open. You can put it here for like a closed, although you probably want to do one or the other because that looks like it's dabbing. So we, you can do uh, slightly ajar doors, which would be kind of neat. I think we're going to do wide open though. Uh, so then you can just snap it like this. You know, let's dab in this direction first, kind of as like a tribute uh, to the uh, what the barn door could be. The barn walls could be. I am not having a stroke. I actually speak like this, and it's very unfortunate, but it's something that you learn to love with enough epicac and uh, earplugs. Now you can switch these to like whatever you want so that you can have that, but of course, <laughs> you want a doorway first so you can get rid of these. And then we can just replace them with whatever is going to be our barn door. So we're gonna use the shack, the wooden shack walls. Uh, now let's do this for the barn window up here. And then for the outsides, we're gonna do shack wall. For the insides, we're gonna mix it up and do some barn walls on the inside and contemporary on the inside. This will actually be pretty neat because it'll bleed through some of the reds uh, so we will have a, a slight suggestion of red. Let's do a brick window here because it'll line up with our other window and then we'll just put some kind of wallpaper over it. So that, not that one, I don't think. These wallpapers are all too clean. We'll probably just use this plywood looking one. For now, I don't know. And then uh, what, what you'll see is uh, some of the reds will bleed through the other side and it'll appear as though it is faded red paint. Now let's quickly uh, do all the walls around it, double walling as we go. Um, and we can sing a little jingle as we go, but I'm not gonna do that, you have to pay extra for that one. 
Unfortunately, my father always said, if you, if you can find something in your worthless life that you, that's worth doing, uh, don't do it for free. And so I said, well, uh, that's, uh, I don't remember what I said. It was a long time ago. You guys expect me to have like a perfect memory or something. It's kind of weird. Now let's uh, burn the back. This time I did remember to use brick, uh, which is good. Thank you. Congratulations to me. Um, and if you see the flamer traps health bar getting low, just store it and then rebuild it. It'll fix the health on it just fine. And then you can use basically any arch wall there as long as you had the first one be brick. Fix it, come back, it's fine. I feel like I need like to, to burp or to breathe really heavily or something. I'm running out of oxygen or something has gone wrong in my esophagus. And I think maybe what I shouldn't do is have so much caffeine before recording because I'm not sure that this is my best product that I could be putting out. Now these arches wouldn't let me snap so I switched it to the log so I could flip it and then it let me snap and then I would just flip it back. But it turns out that that's just because it was the wooden arch and the wooden arch hates me. If you use the brick one on the back, it snapped just fine without any of that tomfoolery. So don't worry if you don't have the log set unlocked, you can still put these uh, roofs in. Now for the bottom, or actually for the whole back wall, what I'm going to do is the inside wall, I'm going to do some contemporary and I'm going to do some barn wall. Uh, and even some, sh I think I might even do some warehouse wall. And this will give it a very worn out look. And don't worry because the inside you won't see any uh, of that because we're going to use the shack wall, which uh, will kind of, it'll sh show up on both sides. But as you can see, well, you can't right now uh, because every time I record, the sun immediately sets. Um, but eventually one day with patience you'll see some of that barn wall uh, will be uh, showing through the shack walls and it'll look like faded red which is what the barn wall set should have looked like to begin with but didn't because Bethesda went out of their way to make it worse because uh, that's I don't know why it's very tricky to uh, understand the doings that go on at Bethesda Gaming Studios, but you can kind of see some of that red right there. You'll you'll see it a lot better in a few minutes when I switch servers to somewhere where the sun does shine. Uh, for the bottom layer, I'm going to do these contemporary windows, and then for the inside of the bottom, I'm going to do shack walls because that'll give it a boarded up look for the top. I'm going to do shack on the outside. And then I'm going to do some of those barn reds on the inside, and it'll bleed through that red, which will look really, really cool. And uh, here we go. So we're going to switch this out to the shack. This will give these windows a really nice boarded up look, but using the shack wall all around is nice because no matter what side you're on, you do see that wood showing through. And it does help with a uniform garbagey feel. But then our ability to switch some of these and make, uh, put some barn in there, put some contemporary set in there, will add some color to the outside. It'll it'll change it up so it's not just this one big box of one uniform color, and it'll give us that hint of faded chipped paint that we really wanted in the first place. I'm gonna switch this one. It's contemporary because the inside was a gaudy too much barn. I don't want to see any barn. Like I, if I see a little strip of red, that's fine. You can see it a little bit there, on the front there. Uh, it gives us that really nice faded red look. I don't want to see a big ass pile of red though. It it's horrific and disgusting. Um, and speaking of horrific and disgusting. You gotta be on your toes when you're here. But yeah, if you look here, you've got these boarded up windows, and then up here you can see a little bit of that warehouse showing through. And then over here, uh, some reds showing through for that faded look. And I did put some double shack walls in there so that it's not all one big repeating texture of reds showing through. There's some that don't have reds showing through. There's even some blues showing through. Maybe this had multiple uh, paint jobs that were, that were faded and peeled off. But if you look at it from this angle, 
uh, you can kind of see where we're going with this here. It's starting to come along. Um, the inside, here are some hayloft tips. I'm going to take some of these uh, log cabin walls. You can use, I'm using a mixture of half wall and full wall, and then I'm burning the, the righteous fuck right out of it, uh, which will uh, give us these cool little um, fence designs. Um, credit to this idea goes to the Lord Jesus Christ, who was the first and the last, so don't forget about that one. Um, now here, you can delete uh, foundations and leave stairs floating if you have a second foundation behind the one you're deleting. I don't know why. So we're going to use this trick to put a concrete stair as kind of a bumper here or door jam for the uh, door frame, I should say, for the bottom part of these doors. Because I want something there, but I didn't want a full foundation which kind of hides the front of that tractor, which is sad because we want the tractor to not look like it's boxed in. So that's where that's going to be. I'm going to put this in here, and then I'm going to put a foundation snapped through it, and then we'll switch it out to a farmable tile so it will look kind of buried in the dirt for now. We'll just do a normal foundation. Uh, why not make things harder for us later? That's what I always say, isn't it? So snap that down and then we can also, if you have a farmable tile, you can snap it over top. You can snap a foundation over top of it. So we essentially have potatoes growing there in the tub and it looks like they're growing in the tub and some dirt spilled instead of they're growing in the thing. But as you can see, this is uh, like our finished product here. And in the sunlight, it does look good. Now, while I, I am sober now, I can say that I'll probably be getting rid of these two flags because it makes the front of it look like a skull, which isn't what I was going for. Um, but I got some stuff propping open the barn doors. Um, you can see those reds bleeding through on the front there, and someone is shooting at it, which is... Honestly, it's not making me that happy. Oh good, one of those bullets actually hit the Scorched! Now I'm glad I invested three perk points into Concentrated Fire, so that one day, one of these bullets would hit it. Um, so that's good. Um, yeah, this is one of the downsides of uh, living here. Let me just uh, take care of this issue, and I'll be getting back to you. So, here we have, uh, every time someone joins my team, it lags the entire thing out. I don't know what's going on. It's probably the server. It'll be fine one day. So, you can really see in the light those reds showing through. That's the main thing here, is we've made a texture that's better than their texture, using their texture, but also not. Ha ha ha. One day, when things are better, they'll give us stump, uh, stuff that looks like it belongs in the world instead of giving us uh, really terrible uh, textures and uh, Adam Shop stuff. But yeah, that that's really the main feature and takeaway of this build. But because we're not using that red texture, it allows us to use the different shaped windows, so we don't have to use the barn windows, which suck, because they're 9% tint and shattered. Uh, and it also lets us build a much bigger structure and make it a barn shape, because we don't have to look at those gaudy red walls. So it's a win-win all around. We've got our little uh, workshop area here, uh, and just clutter it up to make it look lived in. We got our purifier hooked up and it is chugging along. Let's get this because I'm getting a little parched here, talking my actual ass off. Stacked stuff on a shelf. If you don't know how to do that, you can check out some of my previous videos or the videos of other people that are better than me and more people like them and they don't feel depressed and sad. That's not me either. Now this is a cool trick. Uh, you plant on the farmable tile, you put the bathtub over it, then you put the foundation over it. It's cool. It's a cool look when you're done up here. Uh, we've got uh, the hay loft, which is really nice, I should say, because I put the hay up here, back breaking labor, and my arms are breaking out now in hives because I'm allergic. Over here we have the little uh, 
uh, moonshiners area and Graham to watch over us at night while we sleep in the on the couch here. And uh, we got a basically a useless Nuka-Cola machine, Vegabond's mattress for them to sleep in here without us noticing. Uh, down here, we've got uh, the door that magically closes when it's closed. And then you can go outside eventually one day. And we've got our condemned property signs. Good old US of A get her done. Uh, that's a flag that goes on every barn. These silos were from the item shop a long time ago. Uh, don't ask me when they'll be back because I don't know. I, I don't know anything basically. Uh, but here's our barn. And uh, if you've enjoyed this video, thank you so much for pretending you did. Uh, like and subscribe. You can join my Discord if you want and follow me on Twitch to see me try to stream. That's fun. And I'll see you in the next video.